Greetings, most gracious audience. I am Sir Persevere, Knight of the Hand-Drawn Realm. It is my sincerest hope that you have enjoyed my trilogy of He-Man videos over the last month and a half, and hopefully there will be no more He-Man videos to make other than some animation news and that kind of stuff. But today I shall go back to basics and go back to a schedule wherein I am uploading animation reports. And this is a little bit different from the previous format of the animation commentator himself showing up and giving the animation report, though that will still sometimes happen. But the animation commentator decided that he wanted characters like myself and even Speckles the Salamander and who knows, perhaps even Queen Hive Mind, among other characters who just give their thoughts on the current animation news. But today, this is less of an animation report and more of a rest in peace video. I have done these things before, as you know, with Dave Prowse giving my eulogy to the man who wore the Darth Vader suit, basically the Darth Vader actor. And of course, Jeremy Bullock, the actor who originally played Boba Fett. And even Beverly Cleary, the lady who wrote the Henry Huggins books and so many other fun child stories. And Christopher Plummer, the man who played Captain Von Trapp and also voiced the pigeon from uh, an American tale. But uh, today, now is time to add a new name to that roster of heroes or, or beloved faces. I, I wouldn't say heroes, but beloved faces to which we now say goodbye. And the latest face to say goodbye is actually very much connected to the animation industry, which is very fitting given that, well, this is the Animation Commentator channel. So today, I would like to bid a rest in peace and a uh, you're a good man, Charlie Brown, to Peter Robbins. And uh, yes, if any of you have, listened, have watched the likes of things such as Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown, you would have heard Peter Robbins voicing Charlie Brown. Uh, this is coming from... An article on Cartoon Brew written by Alex Dudok DeWitt on January the 26th. So just a few days ago, but uh, so I'll just briefly look at this article here and just kind of give you my thoughts. So sadly, the voice actor of Charlie Brown, Peter Robbins, uh, committed suicide at 65. And just a public service announcement to anyone who might be watching this video and who might have suicidal thoughts. Please don't do suicide. Permanent solutions to temporary problems are not acceptable. I want everyone to live. No matter how old or how young you are, I want everyone to live. But anyway, that said, Peter Robbins... Did commit suicide, and so let's uh, take a look at the rest of this article on Cartoon Brew here. As a child, Robbins voiced the Peanuts protagonist in six TV specials. All right, yeah, sounds about right, including the Great Pumpkin. I think I've seen the Great Pumpkin like once, but Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown, which is not listed in this Cartoon Brew article, that was. That was the one I'm the most familiar with as far as holiday specials go. But apparently Robbins also had bipolar disorders. And to anyone who has mental issues, I extend my sincerest condolences, my sincerest sympathies, and hope that you get the help that you need. There, there, there is hope for anyone. I do mean anyone. But he, his bipolar got so bad that he got thrown into prison after making threats. I mean, you wouldn't think that the actor Charlie Brown would do that, but unfortunately, mental issues can do that to a person. 
And uh, then he told uh, Fox 5 on San Diego, or, or, or Fox 5 San Diego, that uh, apparently, quote from Peter Robbins, I would recommend to anyone that has bipolar disorder to take it seriously because your life can turn around in the span of a month like it did to me. I came out of prison and I'm a better person for it. I'm much more humble and grateful and thankful that I lived through the experience. And, well, I mean, as you also saw, he committed suicide, so maybe maybe the bipolar just got the better of him and he just didn't want to do anything that would land him in prison again. This is, very, this is a rather depressing article. I do apologize about that. Uh, and, and Robbins, fittingly, throughout his life, did stay close to Charlie Brown, the character that made him famous. Uh, he appeared in documentaries and talk shows to discuss Peanuts, and uh, regularly showed up at conventions. Huh. After his release from prison, he told interviewers of his plan to write a memoir titled Confessions of a Blockhead, Okay, yeah, Charlie Brown, you blockhead. Yeah, I can get the humor of that. But apparently he also had a uh, Charlie Brown tattoo and a Snoopy tattoo on his uh, right bicep. And uh, apparently this uh, interview with Fox 5 San Diego was back in 2019. And I suppose that is the end of the article. And I don't know if he finished that memoir before committing suicide uh it's um okay yeah the article says he got released in 2019 so he might have had time to write this memoir and then commit suicide i suppose i'll go ahead and uh look that up confessions of a blockhead dog sees god confessions of a teenage blockhead no i don't no, that's not it. Hmm. I don't suppose he ever finished it. That doesn't look like it. I'm getting every I'm getting every result but that memoir, so Peter Robbins may not have finished up that uh, memoir. But anyway, rest in peace, Charlie Robbins. Uh, Charlie Robbins. Peter Robbins. Uh, you're, well, you, you're a good man, Charlie Brown, and thank you, thank you for your voice that you gave to the world. We shall all remember you very fondly for it, and I pray that your family is, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about your family during this time, and my sincerest condolences to everyone involved. All right, this is, uh, again, this is a different format from previous animation reports that I've done in the past, but I think this is the way to go with myself and Speckles the Salamander and other characters to do their own animation reports. And maybe sometimes the animation commentator will show up. We'll see about that. But until next time, dear viewers, go forth. Be gracious to everyone. And may God bless you.